Haven't been this in a while. It's your boy, Black Seal, coming at you with an episode of Complexity. Now, the thing is, is, uh, wrote a piece a couple months ago, maybe a year ago, who knows, time flies, called Poseidon. The piece in Poseidon is very deep, not surface, uh, not surface deep. You have to actually dig into it. The piece Poseidon is basically about how during the Great Rebellion, which is when Lucifer tried to take over heaven, he was defeated. Once he was defeated, he was banished. Him and a third of the angels that followed him were banished from heaven. They were exiled. When they were exiled, they were quote unquote cast down to the fiery sea. Now, in the poem Poseidon, what happens is he's cast out of heaven. Lucifer and his third of the angels are cast out of heaven into a fiery sea. Now, in the Bible, God separated ocean from the air. This was within the six days he was creating earth. The ocean is the fire and sea. That's what the fiery sea is. So, in the poem Poseidon, Lucifer is cast into the ocean. In the ocean is where he dwells. So, being that Lucifer is in the ocean, there's nothing in the ocean but fish. Lucifer decides that, hey, after a while, there's nobody to talk to, there's nobody to do anything with except for the ones he fell with. And Lucifer goes around in the ocean and basically becomes king of the sea. The fish. The minion in the sea. The fish. He reigns supreme over the fish. That's what he is. He's in the water. He can't be, he's nowhere else. He's in the water. That's where he dwells. That's where he's been exiled to. Lucifer's in the water. He's the minion over the fish. Really cool concept. Of course, man comes along, sailing over the sea, and what ends up happening is Lucifer ends up following bubbles. He ends up following things in the sea. He's, he's, he's trying to get out of the sea. He's trying to escape the sea. Lord behold, one day he comes along humans in a, in, in a shipping boat that are killing fish. Lucifer gets mad because fish are his servants. Fish are his to rule. Humans come along and are killing the fish. After killing the fish, Lucifer appears. But when Lucifer appears, he appears to man in a similar kind of uh, representation. Lucifer comes out of the sea. In the, he's, in the, he's in the ocean, comes out of the sea, looking half man, half fish. He rules over the fish, so he looks similar to fish. But also, you have to remember, he's a fallen angel, so he still has qualities of a human. As far as the facial features, muscles, and arms, and things like that. So Lucifer appears in the middle of the ocean as this figure. Man, <coughs> smart as they are, <coughs> never seeing this kind of entity, looks at him, who is so much bigger than them, who's controlling so many things around them, is frightened. Lucifer tells these humans who are fishing in the ocean he's exiled to that basically, you know, I will let you live if you pay me homage. Pay me homage. I'll let you live. You kill these fish, you must sacrifice them to me. You must pay homage to me when you eat them. You, when you sacrifice, when you're killing my servants, you must make you, you, you must basically pay homage to me. Humans agree. Years pass. More men come fishing. Of course. 
men keep coming fishing, bigger ships, bigger boats, more people, more fish nets, more fish are gone. Now, these men go from the sea to the shore, and they tell tales of this man, or fish king. When they call this fish king, they call this fish king Poseidon. That is the name that Lucifer has given himself over the sea, Poseidon. So now men go from the sea, which Lucifer is exiled to, to the shore, praising, praising, you churchgoers will get this. You churchgoers will get this. You guys hate my guts sometimes. You churchgoers will get this. Praising Poseidon. Now, when you put power in an entity, you pray to an entity. Praying to God. I pray to God. Other people pray to God. Some people pray to Allah, Buddha. Some people pray to different entities. When you pray to them, you are giving them power. You are putting faith in them. You are putting a belief into them. You are putting an existence into that entity. God, you boys can't get on my level. I swear to God, I can drag you all day long. You still couldn't get it. So, they are giving power to Poseidon on the shores by praising him. Giving him thanks. Offering him things. Sacrifices. Dead fish. Food. All that. They're, they're, they're offering this to him. So Poseidon, <sighs> this is what we get into it, huh? The theologians becomes a god. Isn't that what Lucifer wanted the whole time? To be a god? You <laughs> guys, wake, wake up. This, 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 this is just too good. Become a god? Lucifer, who was exiled from the heavens into the ocean deeps who has saw man came to man and proclaimed himself Poseidon king of the sea god of the sea is now a god man is on shore proclaiming this god Poseidon has blessed us with fish has blessed us with food has blessed us now man is going into his homes before each dinner saying I pray to Poseidon. I thank Poseidon for all we have to eat. I pray Poseidon my soul to keep. Praying to him. They tell their kids stories of the great Poseidon. How he talked to them. How he was so generous to them. I'm telling you what. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Killing you. When are you going to get on the level, man? Come on now. We can do this. We can do this. So now, the power that is generated through the faith, through the belief that they are putting into Poseidon, who is a.k.a. Lucifer, who is a.k.a. Satan, Poseidon is what? In Roman theology, Rome is a.k.a. Neptune is making him powerful. He's growing in power. He has a following no minus Facebook a following no minus Instagram a following people are following him people are worshiping him people are giving praise to him Lucifer has gotten what he wants he is now a God people now proclaim he is a God Wow he has journeyed from now. No, come on, follow me. Let's try to get this. He has journeyed from the bottom of the ocean, which he was exiled to, to the shores of the earth, because man has brought him there. When you speak something, you speak it into existence. Poseidon never existed on the land. Adam did. Eve did. Noah did. Solomon did, Job did, Jesus did, Baptist John did. All these guys existed on land. Poseidon never existed on land. Man brought Poseidon to land. 
by praising him, telling stories about him, creating him as if God. So now Poseidon walks amongst the living, he, on the tongues of the living. They have spoken him into existence. Yeah, you like that? They have spoken him into existence. So now Poseidon has power over the living through faith, belief. That's what gives him his power over the living. Faith. Belief. I'm telling you, boys. Come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. Let's get this shit. Come on. Pick it up. So, when you journey out into the sea, and as you journey to the depths of the ocean, you will see Lucifer, a.k.a. Poseidon, a.k.a. Neptune. And when you see Lucifer, he is grown. He he is went. Transformation. He is went from a little sea snake to what some call Leviathan. A sea dragon. Because of the faith. Because of the prayers. Because of the sacrifice. Because of the belief that has been put into him. That is what makes a God. Faith, belief, prayer. That's what gods have energy from. That's where they get their power from. If nobody had any issue or, or any kind of belief in a God, it wouldn't be anything. People walking around with me anything, it wouldn't be nothing. But people putting that prayer, prayers into a God, belief into a God, faith into a God is what gives God a power. Hope you guys got the concept. Complexities. 2014 production. It's still sealed. Bitch. <laughs>